This is Tetron Junction. It's my latest project and it relates to Commander Yek's new discovery of Styromite. You can see there's a lot of mechanical apparatuses that are made with a certain kind of metal. This metal has amazing properties that I gave a, a lecture on at the Children's Hospital last week. My team and I worked laboriously day and night for about well, a little less than a week, we put this uh, work together, and you can see this uh, triangular form here all over to the side. It is a vortex that sucks matter in and out through a black hole, out through the other side. When I would paint, I would always make models and setups of fictional worlds that I would create. And the paintings just seemed to not be big enough, they seemed to not be able to encapsulate what I wanted to do on them, and I was just it became really obvious that I was more interested in making the sets than in making a replication of them in painting. We did a show at the hospital where I put on a presentation of a fictional world that loosely connects to this installation, some of the forms in it, where I described uh, my recent discoveries of styromite. Um, I made up a fictional story about uh, the discovery of a new metal. It's the strongest right here. If I put it right here, it gets really loud. See? Try to find more locations for those interdimensional tunnels. Whoa! Well, sometimes there's a gravitational effect that happens. I think that's a that's something I'm very interested in. My work is is it's a fantasy world that is uh, like the installation space. It's the viewer gets to step into like a different kind of space. Two commander gets inner world and back out into the outer world, and this kind of a uh, figure eight happens where. Uh, What's real and what's not real is constantly flipping back and forth. My growing up in suburban Southern California, uh, my mom working at Disneyland, my father being a, a science fiction novel, novel addict, and my unhappiness in school when I was a kid, I just wanted to, I didn't want to do math or do any kind of homework, I just wanted to draw. And so I think that really fostered in me um, a need for escape and, and wanting to create my own fantasy world. That's always been with me ever since I was a very young child. On Family Day, we uh, had a large puppet uh, theater set, set up, and we um, had a we had children make puppets at each table. We'll play, we'll sing our backup to your guitar music. Uh, we had a variety of supplies using uh, my traditional materials: cardboard, there was foam, sponges, uh, plastic wrappings, um, a lot of just cheap trash material that children could make things out of. And if given just a little bit of incentive, children will um, usually love to just make anything. Uh, I think my work generally has a, uh, a playful, kind of childlike quality to it. Aliens invaded. You guys are creepy. Uh, children seem to generally like my work. The dragon came and said, you guys should all be friends no matter what. And I'm probably an overgrown child myself in some ways. Played too much video games when I was a kid. Probably infected my brain.